So today we're talking about how to do this endless transition, make like a carousel effect with your videos, where you just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. It's super, super simple. When I tell you this, you're just gonna, you're gonna hate yourself because it's so simple and you just didn't realize it. But this is also part two to the Schlotty transition. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's gonna make a little bit more sense. Just like before, this is her original and then this is my recreation of her video. So go follow both of us on TikTok. And if you wanna see the original videos, they're there on TikTok. But we're focused just on that ending part for this video. So the very first step is to just get all of your clips. You have to know how many clips you want to use. There is a limit to how many you can do inside of Premiere Pro you're gonna be able to do four full-size 4k clips but in this case these are vertical videos you can see the resolution is 1080 by 1920 that means that the width is 1080 that's working in our favor here so we have eight clips that we're gonna be working with and the very first thing we have to do is create a new sequence we're gonna go up to the settings over here where it says video and frame size this is the whole thing right here so we're, we're gonna have to do some math here I'm sorry but it has to happen so we have to multiply the horizontal resolution by how many clips we have so in this case it's a 1080p clip the horizontal resolution is 1080 as you can see we have eight clips so we're going to multiply 1080 by 8 and that brings us up to 8640. This is the reason why I said there's a limit to how many of these you can do inside of Premiere Pro with a full 4k clip. I think that the highest horizontal resolution is somewhere in the 16,000 range. But here we are we have our new resolution for our sequence 8640 by 1920. Again, this is just gonna depend on how many clips and what resolution those clips are in. So if we go ahead and make that new sequence, you can see that we have this very long, very weird looking sequence now. All right, the only thing I did was I dragged in all of my clips. I have eight clips, so I have eight different layers. So now we're just looking at our very first clip. And the only thing that we have to do is come up here to position and just line these up. All right, so we got our first clip and our second clip, there's our third one, so on and so forth until you get to the very, very last clip. You have to keep in mind that this is a carousel. You're basically looking at these clips through a hole. So after your first clip moves out of that hole, you don't necessarily need it. What am I trying to say with that? Cause that's kind of confusing, but trust me, it'll, it'll make sense in like a second. All of our clips are lined up. If we go ahead and play this clip now, you can see that as time goes on, the very first clips, they start to disappear. That's just because you don't need that very first clip anymore after it's shown on screen. So while it looks weird here, it'll all make sense in just a second. After we have everything perfectly lined up, we're gonna go ahead and select all of our clips and make a nest. Perfect. You do have to make a nest. If you try to drag in the original sequence, it's gonna try to drag in all of the layers and we don't want that. Let's just copy this and bring it over to our original sequence. Now this sequence is just a normal 1080p clip. It's the same as our original clips. So kind of weird, right? Like nothing is happening. If we zoom out, you can see that our clip is just way oversized. It's just super long compared to what we have. So let's mess with our anchor point. Let's put this at zero and there we go. That just puts our anchor point right at the beginning here. Now, if we mess with the position and also put that at zero, we are all lined up perfectly. Literally, the only thing that we have to do left is to just keyframe our position. We're just on the X axis and you can see this effect starting to work now. Let's go to where we want our effect to start, make a keyframe for our position, and then we basically just go to where we want the effect to stop. And <laughs> it's gonna take a while, but eventually we will find it. And there it is. So now if we play this, you'll see that there is this like endless scrolling effect. The timing is a little wrong. It's a little wrong. The timing is a little bit weird for my clips, but that's just because this original effect was shrunk down kind of like this. So now if we play it, then the timing makes a little bit more sense. It's a little bit off, you can see. So now you can see as we like fix the position on how it's actually supposed to look, then the timing and everything gets a whole lot better and we can always just adjust this later. That's about it though. Like I said, it is so simple. <laughs> Do you hate yourself yet? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. I'm joking. Hopefully you did learn something and it just opens up your creativity a little bit. Let me know what effects, transitions, whatever you wanna see in the comments below. And again, let me know who's here from TikTok. I love seeing you guys here. And that's about it. All right, all right.